Hello, now we are going to see about how to create an instance template and how do we create a, a VM instance from instance templates. Okay, so before going to the topic, if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please do subscribe uh, so that you will get a more updates on Google Cloud Platform. Okay, so first of all, uh, I've already opened the window, but uh, for your information, I just go to the navigation menu where it exactly uh, placed. Okay. So go to the navigation menu and uh, see here compute block uh, under that we have a compute engine there if you see VM instances and instance templates okay so first of all now I'm going to click on instance templates so if you wanted to create instance template see here we have a option called create instance template click on that now you are going to create a new instance template so for that uh, first you need to give a name uh, which is like uh, I, I will just give my name like instance uh, demo hyphen uh, best tech learn and which means bt learn uh, hyphen template one okay this is the name I am going to give here uh, now uh, if you see here right side it has a monthly estimation also okay so hourly how much we are going to pay if you, you are going to using the instance term, instance okay and for that uh, if you see monthly estimation also uh, it is displaying here uh, it will show you what based on the family it will again uh, change the estimation or cost okay so here now we are going to select a mission configuration means family we are going to select okay which means the family includes like series and machine machine types okay so those i'll show you how clearly we have a machine configurations four types that is general purpose compute optimized and memory optimized and gpu okay uh, based on your selection uh, machine family the cost will get vary automatically if you see the general purpose we have a series uh, we have lot of series like e2 n2 n2d there are a lot of uh, let me select n2 see the cost will get change okay this is estimation cost is high when compared with the e2 now i'm going to uh, create a e2 instance uh, if you click on compute optimized we have a lot of uh, C, uh, series C, high performance machine types of compute intensive workload so that the cost will be high when compared with the compute optimized memory optimized is more okay uh, you see here when I clicked on memory optimize see 38,218.38 dollars are there if you go to the GPU see how it will get vary I'll show you uh, so that you will get some idea based on your GPU type and number of GPUs you are going to use okay so it will get change fine now uh, for demo purpose I am taking only general purpose um, machine family so which I selected E2 series and the machine type is see E2 medium it is uh, came but uh, here 1 to 2 virtual CPUs are there 1 shared core and 4 GB memory available but I am going to select it for E2 micro which is small that is enough for demo purpose ok so 0.252 two virtual CPUs are available and one GB memory for this if you see the cost will get reduced only seven point nine nine dollars okay you need to observe clearly which is very important okay the cost always it affects based on your CPU or machine type okay now uh, if you see CPU platform and GPU uh, as of now we are not going to see this so uh, I'm not selecting anything if you wanted to uh, use your uh, if you wanted to enable your screen recording on screen capturing tools then you need to enable this as of now it is not required for me okay and now confidential virtual machine series if you wanted to confidential computing is disabled on this VM instance if you want you can enable it we'll enable it later on not now okay if you want a container deploy a container image to this virtual machine instance okay so if you see here boot disk is available uh, which has a 10 GB uh, size and license type is free and the image we have selected is uh, Debian 
GNU or Linux. Okay. If you wanted to change, just click on the change. See here we have public images and custom images. Okay. If you based on this also cost will get vary. We will see later on about type of boot disk. Okay. Now we are going to select a basic one. Okay. Uh, see here now just come down slightly here we have identity and api access as of now the service accounts i am taking a default one okay compute engine default service account which is depend on uh, roles and users okay that is uh, enough for me as of now access scopes okay this is very important uh, allow default access or full access to all cloud apis set access for each api if you wanted to define individual API basis access, then you need to click on it. If you wanted to provide all cloud APIs access, then you need to click on this. As of now, I'm just taking a default access. Okay. And then next, if you go to the firewall, see, if you wanted to access our virtual machine through the internet, then uh, click on allow HTTP traffic and HTTPS both. Here we have a lot of options like networking, disk security, management, sole tenancy. These all advanced options we will uh, see later on as of now the basic one I am going to create. Okay. Now see it is showing clearly. I am using a free version right. So you can always create instant templates free of charge. Your free trial credit won't be used. Okay. Now I am going to create. We are creating instance template. You just observe this this is our instance template okay now uh, from instance template how do you create a virtual machine okay that we will see in the next video uh, if you wanted to search in uh, my channel it might be if it is difficult then I will place the URL in the uh, description box as well you can directly go from here how to create a virtual machine using instance template you can directly click on the description box URL link so that you will redirect it to that particular video. If you are uh, like this video, please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.